and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm doing a much requested video and that is my nail care routine. This is for just a basic manicure. So in this video I show you guys me taking off my nail polish, like cutting my nails, filing them, buffing them down and stuff, and then repainting them. Um, this is also a how I paint my nails video because that is also very requested. So you can kind of see like the basic steps of me painting my nails. I also want to say that I am in no way a professional. Everything I learned about nail polish I either learned from my mom, who's not a professional either, or I learned from watching YouTube videos. This is just what I do. I've gotten my nails professionally done like once, <laughs> so everything was kind of self-taught. Um, so take this video for what it is. I just wanted to show you guys how I take care of my nails, what I do. Um, it's very basic and I hope you guys all enjoyed this video. Starting off with very chipped nails, the first thing I'm going to be doing is using my nail polish remover and this is by Sally Hansen. It's a moisturizing formula for um, dry brittle nails and it's supposed to be hydrating. Um, it does have acetone in it. You can get an acetone free nail polish remover which is probably better for your nails but this one works really well in getting off your nail polish. Or I love using these um, nail polish removing pads by Quo which is a brand from Shoppers Drug Mart. Shout out to the Canadians out there. Um, they just look like this and they're quilted and they don't leave any fuzz residue on your nails which is perfect and why I love these ones so much. Then once my nails are completely bare I take my nail clippers and these are actually for toenails but I like these better because they help you get a straighter edge um, and I don't cut every single nail especially if I'm growing out my nails I'll only cut any nails that I've broken and just need like a sharp edge to them and then after I do that I go in with my nail file and I try my very best to file my nails in one direction because it is better for your nails so I've heard um, and then after I file down any edges that I need um, to be filed or even I use this buffer just to buff out um, the edges to make sure that it's very smooth before I apply my nail polish. Then once my nails are shaped the way I want them to I'm going to go in with moisturizers because the nail polish remover really dried out my nails and this is the time to really moisturize my hands and my nails. So. First I'll just use a hand lotion, this one's my favorite, um, it's by St. Ives and it's a deep restoring hydration. I love the way this smells and it's just really easy because it has a pump. Um, you can find it at like almost any drugstore and then I'll use Vaseline on my cuticles and gently push them back using usually just my thumbnail. I don't use any special tools but um, I do put this like around my cuticles if I even remember. Then after I moisturize my nails I want to make sure that I get all the oils off of my nails before I apply my nail polish because then it won't stick well so I go back in with um, some more nail polish remover and a cotton pad just lightly like rubbing off all the excess residue on my nails before I apply nail polish. I start every manicure out with a base coat. I will always put a base coat. I don't show this in my nail tutorials just because I want to save time but I always 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 use a base coat and whenever I talk to my friends in real life I always tell them to use a base coat whenever they ask me about my nails and how I get my nail polish to stay on longer so the one that I'm currently loving is by Essie and it's just their like regular, it's called first base, base coat. Um, I like this one because it's really thin, it doesn't leave my nails like clumpy or bubbly um, and then it allows me to apply my nail polish really smoothly. I have a ton of nail polish to choose from so I always change up my color that is on my nails but today I decided to choose this um, polish by Nicole by OPI and it's called Please Red Cycle. It's just a really creamy red color.
off my nail routine with a top coat and this is an essential step to making your nails dry faster, make them extra glossy, and to help your nail polish stay on longer. So um, the one that I'm currently loving is by Sally Hansen. I always use Sally Hansen top coats. That's just holy grail. I find that uh, a couple of Sally Hansen's top coats are just the bomb. So did I really just say the bomb? Um, <laughs> so this one is Sally Hansen Diamond Strength Diamond Flash Top Coat. And it makes your nails dry a lot faster and then you don't like smudge them or dent them. So this helps to really just seal it all in, you know, and make them nice and shiny. So that is the video. I told you guys it was very simple, very basic. Um, leave me a comment below letting me know what other like nail care or nail videos you guys want to see because um, other than tutorials I don't really know what you guys want to see from me like in the realm of nails so um, please leave me some comments about that I would love to hear your input um, and I'll definitely be reading every single comment but anyways I hope you guys all enjoyed this video I love you guys so much and I will see you soon bye mm -hmm.